knock. Who's there? Nobody you know. <laughs> That's right. Welcome to the Nobody You Know podcast. They might not be famous, but they certainly have a lot to say. Let's get into today's episode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new episode of Nobody You Know. I have a quick question for our listeners. Are any of you a victim of a buffoon lie of narcissist, psychopath people? Have you been living a life where you assumed you knew who your parents were only to find out a 23andMe kit tells you otherwise? Today's episode, <laughs> we're exposing the dark secrets of the trending um, films and shows of Netflix. So buckle up, it's about to get creepy. <laughs> <laughs> that was really oh, good. that was an awesome that intro. Was really Thanks, good. SB. Very, very good. <laughs> How's everyone doing today? Good. Good, good. Good, good. Good, good. Ready to like get super creeped out. For yeah. sure. <laughs> For sure. It's so fascinating, these um, stories. By the way, though, they're not entirely true, but they have happened. They're based off true stories, but it's not like to the T of accuracy. So, we were actually diving into the Anna Delvey um, Netflix show, which if y'all remembered back in 2018, it was a big deal when her case um, did um, air. And um, I remember I remember seeing a couple posts on Instagram about the German heiress who just, she was just, she's the like the perfect con artist. Like you don't imagine someone that young just being able to scam people who act like so intelligent like i mean it's just it like it's mind-blowing when you watch the show uh what, what did you guys think about it i uh, mean like honestly she um she's a she's a good um actress like i she the fact that she was able to uh fool uh, it very um high like high society and take so much from them and scary. be in the game Mm -hmm. for so long it's so I mean, scary I, I don't know how she like for example like she would go to these exotic trips and not worry about how she's gonna pay like I get worried if I'm gonna pay the electrical <laughs> bill next week but like she's off like in Monaco and like Greece and and like I can't imagine not having a single dime and going across the world like it it's does incredible you that's wonder. like living yeah. life on the edge it definitely does it's so weird because it's kind of what you say like you know, like normal people are worried, like, am I, am I even going to be able to pay a restaurant with my friends? Right. You yeah. know, right. and like for her to just be in these high end restaurants, all of these things and just, yeah, my dad, this, the money hasn't come in or I, I no get worries. this one and I get the next one. It's like, I think it, it's also the, the part that shocked me the most, which I think is pretty actually like accurate to the true story of Anna Delvey is that the uber rich are still living in a sort of archaic system in the way that they do pay for things like you always see that in movies like representing the past and you forget that like these ultra rich people they're going into hotels they're going to restaurants that are like five plus stars whatever and they're just like charge it to my account or like people don't even ask questions because they're like living in the 1920s still like when it was like the Vanderbilts and all this stuff. So like, I think I just didn't know that anyone lived like that anymore. So the, it actually was pretty easy to scam people because I mean, it was all just about her confidence. A like, reality that, confidence. that doesn't exist. It's honestly, it's, I like how I was, it, it was, very astonishing and very exciting to see how daring she was and like she wasn't phased like she kept character the entire mm -hmm. time like it's i don't like it's really impressive how she really believed her own lies and yeah. how she was able to again get so far and charge it to the room and she's off charge it to the room <laughs> charge it to i, I just i, wonder, I, I, I can't imagine do you know what i really wonder how does the people who have interactions with her feel after yeah. they find out all of that right. because you know yeah, one thing foolish. is yeah one no thing phoned. is believing <laughs> somebody's rich and like paying and maybe they are and like right. they're just not getting their i don't know but like you find out that this girl just got everything out of you i think that's them? why it worked so well for her because 
those types of people don't like to be embarrassed. They don't yes. like to uh, be made a fool out True. of, especially True. publicly. Yeah. And I think that's True. why she didn't get caught sooner because I think there probably were some friends or, you know, you can put that in air quotes, uh, <laughs> who probably had bad experiences with her, but they were too embarrassed and mm-hmm. too afraid mm-hmm. to mention it to anyone else. Yeah. So they just didn't say anything. So she continued doing her her disguise or her, you know, alter ego or whatever that was. I kind of feel like she definitely has some type of, uh, uh, forgive me if this isn't incorrect because I've never met her, but I kind of feel like she has like a multiple personality type of disorder Mm -hmm. because I don't even know if it was acting her. I literally think she believed believed a lot of the stuff that she She made up. She believed a reality that never existed. It's, It's astonishing. And by the way, her real name, legally is Anna Sorokin. Um, she's Russian, but mm-hmm. raised in Germany and then has been living on her own ever since she was a teenager and just living this lavish life. I, it's it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Like, I just, I feel like I, we, I, even after the show, like, I really wanted to know her trauma, like, or mm-hmm. her childhood. She didn't have any. She didn't have any. But... <laughs> I, it's just hard to believe and I that. Think that like, I, I think just, that makes it no. more creepy. That's what makes it more creepy. No, yeah. th- this is kind of like the point where people say, when you say a lie multiple times, it becomes true. So mm-hmm. she really believed that to the sense, to like every single letter. Right. To being like, okay, I'm going to believe that I'm a billionaire, I'm rich and all these things. So she made herself believe all of that, even though deep down she knew it wasn't true. Uh-huh. But like, that's how she got that personality. That's how she was able to become that. Yeah. Just uh-huh. by believing that. Even though she had no trauma, no anything. Right. And that's kind of what happens with a lot of people. I mean, this is a little bit off topic, but it's the same thing with Amber Heard right now. Mm. Oh, where yeah. she has said yes. that yeah. she has paid, uh, that she donated all this money when she hasn't. She hasn't. But no. she still lies about it yeah. like she mm-hmm. did. Yeah. In so court, in front of a judge, uh-huh. where you like lay your hand on the Bible and you say, I swear to tell the yeah. whole truth and nothing yeah. but the truth. Exactly. Oh, so so crazy. it's people that just believe their lies to mm-hmm. their maximum, mm-hmm. even though they know it's not true, but they already believe it so much that they trick they their start, brain. Right. I, they start to think it's yeah. true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In I, this yeah. case, it's it's seen in a negative light but if you twisted it as in the as in like manifesting i can be this and i am the next star Mm -hmm. that's a different way of of believing you can do something so i think there's there's definitely a day and night to that too of like uh, believing and i am this i Mm -hmm. am that and then achieving it Mm -hmm. and and then this case where it's just like whoa it's like (laughs) that fine line between like delusionment and like you said manifestation and i think yeah. Uh, in her case, like, how do I say it? Uh, I think she also knew that she had a lot to offer. And I do believe she's actually extremely intelligent in, in a lot of ways. Honestly, I yes. think that her idea for uh, like an art society for the ultra rich is actually a great idea. Yeah. And I think she knew she wasn't going to be taken seriously She's so Unless young. she presented this idea. I'm not excusing the fact that she scammed people, but it also brings up this other like philosophical discussion mm-hmm. of well, like I mean, yeah. at the same time, it's like did what she do did what she did really it was bad, but like can't you also say that the other side of it, they were stupid for not investigating more? I mean, yes. it's kind true. of like this true. double true. Yeah. Right. This thing, yeah. you know? It's really at fault if you're really mm-hmm. doing your job, right? You can, right. You can sense a, a scammer, you know? Yeah. Yes. That's true. That's very, very and true. And like banks shouldn't be giving out loans in that dollar amount unless like they actually like have all the facts do the research and i it took that guy way too long i mean again this is if the netflix series is true on that part but like Mm -hmm. i do feel like people weren't checking out her backstory and it's like all right like is that her fault or your fault for being dumb you know (laughs) it's like yeah yeah yeah. i mean she couldn't get the full amount because it was 40 million but she still got the two hundred thousand, right 200 275 so yeah it's still a lot of money yeah Mm -hmm. without having like any credit to check anything anything to like back it up because there's a lot of people for example right here in america who Mm -hmm. If you don't go and check your credit score or something, they're not gonna even give you a hundred bucks. Forget like they don't it. even give you a credit card. Yeah. Forget it. So Forget it's like, it. how this girl who is not even a citizen, who probably doesn't even have a residency, a True. green card, True. is mm-hmm. getting two hundred thousand dollars. To be yeah. honest, it's kind of like offending. Yeah. yeah. And like one of yeah. the things when I was watching it that I told Ash, it was like, 
Also, one benefit that she has is that she's European. Mm -hmm. So people eat European shit. Because, <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, it, I don't mean it in a bad way, but, no, it, but mean, it's like yeah. when you hear about a, a, a watch, you are like, yeah, that watch is so, from Switzerland, so it's top notch. Right, right. And yeah. all of these things. Because, for example, for me, it's so hard to actually even get to the embassy. They're right. going to be, you're Colombian, you are a drug dealer, you mm -hmm. are all of this. And it's exactly. like, just because I'm Colombian. Exactly. And it's, you know, so yeah. she had the benefit yeah. that she was from Europe, Russian. She had and the all accent. That. She had the accent. I think she yeah. even spoke a couple the of manners. different languages, uh -huh. right? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. No, I do have to give it to her, even though she she's psycho, oh, bitch yeah. is psycho. Yeah. But she is driven. Like she is the definition. If you want something, you can get go it. and get it. Yeah. Like go yeah. and get it. I even mean, if you it might not end well for you. But. Yeah, it might end <laughs> terribly. But she had nothing in her pocket. And she got far, and so she's yes. like the definition of you. If you really want it, you you can get it. Like, you how much do you guys feel like it was about money, and how much do you feel like it was about fame? I think she wanted to be famous more famous. than she wanted money. Uh, yes. I agree. Uh, yeah. I think she just wants everyone in the world to know her fake name, Anna Delvey. Yes, I agree <laughs> to an extent. I fe I think even behind bars, she's probably still feels that she won because she's mm -hmm. known. Mm -hmm. She's uh -huh. famous. Right. Yeah. She doesn't care if it's for fraud. No, she's famous. Because exactly. that's how her, yeah. in her name. mind, that's how she thinks. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's currently being detained right now under ICE, like uh, before, uh, you know, waiting to get deported to Germany. But, um, but she, in her eyes, she's famous. Right. It doesn't matter what the consequences were. And that's another thing. She likes she liked doing her actions without thinking of a consequence. Like, there was not going to be any consequences to her actions. Like, she, that's how she lived. Uh, fearlessly. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And I think she'll always have a following. Like, I think even when she gets out and she goes back to Germany. Oh, for sure. She's going to do something. Like, we could see her in TED Talks mm -hmm. in 10 oh, years. For oh, sure. for she, sure. She might start that art thing because there's going to be some crazy person out there that's going to mm -hmm. donate money to her oh, I see. Our organization right. or whatever right. um it's it's weird because she's even like you said winning behind bars like mm -hmm. she i know that with the netflix docuseries about her like the money from that that she was going to get is all going to paying off the fine that she owes but that's still winning because like other people who yeah. fraud, they don't get a show made yeah, out of them so that they exactly. can pay off well, their right. fine exactly. to the government. A couple do. It hasn't just come out yet. Right. Yeah, right yeah. Right now, they're, they're, it's kind of so fucked up in the same way because it's important to tell the story. But at the same time, it's like these people are getting the benefit to becoming famous mm -hmm. and to get money out of yeah. it yeah. To, for their frauds. Right. Yeah. I mean, this is kind of a little bit... I was searching a little bit of pathological liars, and mm -hmm. it says pathological. Pa uh, I cannot speak. Sorry, <laughs> pathological liars tell compulsive lies without a clear motive. Mm -hmm. This type of lying is different than non-pathological lying, where the lie is often beneficial in some way. So I feel like she kind of has a little bit of both, okay. where she doesn't have a clear motive of why she's lying because she believes she is there, but at mm -hmm. the same time, deep down, she knows that she has a motive to being famous or getting rich. Oh, yeah. right, that right, makes sense. Yeah. right. Okay, yeah. I see that. I see yeah. that connection. Mm -hmm. I see that connection. Uh -huh. You know, I think one of my favorite things about this show as well is the journalism aspect. Vivian yes. Kent, which is the journalist in the show, in mm -hmm. real life, her name is Jessica Pre Pressler. I like the fact that she took on this story because, first of all, it's just fascinating. It's just it's just fascinating for for an audience for for the outside, and it really takes journalism to a whole new light. I think stories like this, like we said, there's a there's a fine line where, yes, fraud is is very uh, it's current, it's evident, and it can happen right in front of un, right under your nose. But at the same time, Anna Delvey or Anna Sorkin is benefiting benefiting from it. So, yeah, journalism it takes a big big part in this. This, I mean, um, there was a part show. of me that was happy that she stuck it to some of those snobby upper class people like that, like yes. just so those people were so pretentious and it's, God, so was she. But like, I think I just was like, you know, you were just outsmarted by like a 20 True. some year old girl mm -hmm. who like True. had zero dollars in her bank account and like, yeah. Who's the idiot now? I mean, <laughs> exactly, 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 uh, exactly. But I do think. Also, what you were saying earlier about, like, you wanted her to have, like, this tragic past. Like, what does that say about us as humans? Like, we want to feel sorry for them so that, like, we can forgive, like, the bad things that they did. Yeah. Because, um, like, yeah, I think in the show, especially when 
you hear that she's getting bullied and everything, you're like, oh, that's why she did yeah. what she did. Right. But you then you found out find, she just made that up in her mind. You so. want to find a why and you want to find the, 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 the purpose. You want to find the motive. But like you said earlier, there is no clear motive mm-hmm. from her past. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it's so nuts, guys. It's insane. If you haven't had a chance to watch it, go and watch it. It's really entertaining. It really is. It is one of the best shows on Netflix, Very definitely. Oh, it's definitely. Yeah. One Very more, cool. One more thing to say yeah, about yeah, yeah. it. Uh, just like, sa- like, it's kind of a sad observation, but just that like by being like a bitch, like you can convince people that true. you're wealthy. Yes. True. Like Good what true. does that say about <laughs> us? Like a society, like, because she was just mean. She was hella yeah. mean. Yeah. I don't know if this and is actually worked. true. I, I don't know if this is actually true, like how she told Vivian Kent in the show. And yeah, in the show, um, you know, you can get Uber XL or you can Uber here to see me. Like, I don't know if that's actually true instead of taking the bus. But to I want to be shocked. But like, she was just so cold and how she would mm-hmm. end the show also tell the journalist Vivian oh you know about her body image when Vivian was pregnant like she was so cold she was yeah. such a You're bitch fine. but it but it worked like people I think it's just sad that bitch equals rich I mean it, this is kind <laughs> that's of, the way it's presented yes. yeah, this is mind. again it's another Netflix show selling sunset how Christine Queen was why did people like her? Because she was the bad bitch who'd say supposedly how it is, you know. And it's kind of like the same thing as Anna Delby, like saying being mean. I think there's a big difference between being honest and being. A bitch. But that's what I'm saying. Oh, that's, that, but that's what I'm saying. But like, oh, but like yeah, Christine Queen yeah, is the yeah. real example. The this does win because she actually people still believe that she is like that mm-hmm. and all of these things. And yeah. she she I don't believe she is that mean. She just played that character. In the team, mm-hmm. which at the end, sadness of no, she ended up winning. Yeah, it, yeah it's working. It's working for it's her. It's working for her yeah. being a bitch. But I think that's. I guess that's what all I wanted to say is it feels a little tragic that that's that's what wins. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes. Speaking of a very similar story and a very similar outcome, probably even worse. I think it's uh, worse. It's worse. This next show, <laughs> our next film, is Tinder Swindler. Has anyone in this room? Have had an online dating profile. Raise your hand. <laughs> no, uh, I don't. Uh, unintentionally, it was an accident. Well, <laughs> well, an accident. Ladies and gentlemen, that's, that's on that what later. She <laughs> Be careful who you're swiping yep. right or left to, yep. because you be, just never know who's behind mm-hmm. the phone. You might think you ran into a jeweler from Israel who is a billionaire and has money, 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 and wealth. Only to find out he's a con artist as well and hasn't and doesn't have a single dime to his name. So this is another familiar um, story outcome. Let's dive into it. So I mean, in this show, the guy's name is Simon Levely. Si- Simon, Simon Levy, something, yeah. something along those lines. I'm mispronouncing the last name. He is from Israel, right? And so he's on this tinder he's on the twin uh, tinder tinder tinder. right and he he's been in the game for a long time so he's very uh precise with his steps he has a plan and he executes it very 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 well and again another one of these con artists very smart and is always a step ahead like he executed his plans very thoroughly it's crazy and so he fools all these these innocent women, honestly, that are literally want to look for love. They're not in, in it for anything else. They want to look for love. And he fools all these women and makes them take out loans and makes them... In their names. In their names. And, and makes them, the money. you know, yeah, buy them. Uh, he makes them buy him plane tickets all over Europe. He's like wanted in like five different countries, mind you. <laughs> like he and he goes to bed peacefully at night knowing oh. all that. Like I don't know how yeah. how in one's mind can you live a life like that? Like isn't it insane? No. What are your thoughts about this guy? Quick, I have a question. So is yeah. this also like 50/50 real and 
not. I think this one is, I've only watched one episode, the beginning. So this okay. one is pretty the, new to me. I think Got this it. one said it was all. I true. think this one is all. This true. one is. Oh, okay. This one's pretty accurate. Because right. because pretty accurate. the difference between Anna Delvey is Anna Delvey is a series, so uh-huh. it's dramatized. Yeah. So, so it has it's acted actors. Out by and, got people. it. Got it. But yeah. the, the other one is a documentary. Right. Where right. they are telling a story. So that's yeah. the difference between yeah. the both. Okay. One is yes. a documentary. The other one is a, true. a series. And I think for the most part, they had the. The real women in it, the the women who Where actually the got the victims, the uh, actual victims, victims on this documentary. being like interviewed, they might have like had a couple actors doing like the acting reacting. out Drop, like yes. certain moments, but yeah. it was all based on true mm-hmm. events. Drop, yes, yes. Okay. What are your thoughts on this guy? This Tell one me. scared me and made me feel so sad because yeah. I think what's different between this one and the Anna. Mm-hmm. Is that she swindled the government, she swindled banks, and like, mm-hmm. yes, that's not great. No. But like those are institutions. They've also done bad things to people sometimes mm-hmm. too. True. 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 The difference here is that this is a guy taking advantage of women who are looking for love. Yeah. Women who like, you know, they have money, but they don't have a ton of money. Like I think one of the women, she gave him her house savings. Like she had been yes. saving up for a house, yes. and I think it was like Twenty five, thirty thousand, thirty thousand, thirty thousand, yeah. And that was like it. That's like every penny to her name that she had been working her ass off for like yeah. ten years to save that money, and he took it all. Yes, yes. I think, I think on another, it, on another bitch too. Yep. Yeah. I think, <laughs> I, I think the problem with this one and what it makes me more angry mm-hmm. is the fact that all this that this guy is not sentenced of anything of no mm-hmm. crime. That's the worst and part. And that is how, to me, it's so, the, you know, like, because if it was kind of what you say, if it was the government, then this guy will be in jail with he a full trouble. sentence. Yeah. But because it has nothing to do with them and the teen is like, he didn't take out those loans. It's because not under his name. It's not under his name. He is excel of no crime when there is so much evidence. It's kind of like, I mean, and I, I don't want to get like, ahead of myself with our story here, but it's the same thing with our father. It's yeah. like how just because it's not against you, mm-hmm. he doesn't get punished. Like, and no. if there's not a law about it, then they need to let's make, make one. A they, one. Let's make one. The thing <sighs> is with this Simon guy, he's a free man as we speak. Yeah. He is living lavish. It's like he never Did suffered anything. anything. Like he didn't pay for anything, and those poor women are still paying the debt. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so. There's because the, it's written in their name and it's so unfair. The that's so but but funny. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. I was just going to say it's so unfair that like the credit card companies are basically saying, well, you're bad. You were the stupid one who put your name on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But like Gus was saying, the government didn't do anything. Like they with the Anna Delvey thing, they said, no, you you frauded us. So we're going to charge you. But how is this any different? It's just yeah, it's a just, person instead of a government. It's just not right. direct to them, so it doesn't matter. Right. But it's so, it's so, so, so sad. It's, it's so, so annoying. Sad. I, fu- I had, and I had mixed emotions when I, when I thought about, first of all, I thought about the women. I said, why would, why would any woman want to um, uh, take a, p- uh, share their passport information to mm. a random guy yes. they don't even know yeah. Yeah. and take out loans to a guy that, that barely even know? That was hard to listen to. That's hard. Right, and uh, you're like, oh, come on, you you, you like, have more brains than that. Yeah. I know that. Yes. But then it comes to the to the carn artist himself and how he demonstrated and how he orchestrated the uh, uh, a life that it's worth believing. He took out these women on the first date. He would take them out on a private jet and make and and make uh, his so called uh, baby mama and child uh, tag along and and have a private reservation in um in a an, uh, hotel and and just you know d- dripping in riches right I so mean, it's hard yeah. not to believe that oh this guy's not gonna pay me back i saw his riches i saw his lifestyle i saw I'm his good. plane like <laughs> but that's the thing it wasn't his and some other some other woman was paying for all that while you were on a date with him like yep. it's insane guys like it, how well, is that even real? Didn't he even create an entire like website 
for his family's like the diamonds. diamonds. No, he didn't even create it because those people actually exist. No, the, those people exist. It's that he's not related to them. He's not them. And that was the other thing, Amelia. Oh I want you to gosh. keep watching the show, but that's the other thing that shook me. And I felt like they didn't explain it well enough because if I was that family and I was that rich as yeah. they are, they they are a diamond family. Yeah, they, they are, yeah. They, um, they are. They do have a lot of money. Yes. You best believe I'd be fucking pressing charges. That's Sorry, excuse thing. my language no, for people yeah. taking my, my identity. Name. Yeah, exactly, exactly. My name and my business name and 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 exactly. Can we exactly. beep out my swear words? Sorry. That's <laughs> no, no, no. But that's no, you're right. You you what? would think that that family would have done more. Like, yeah, hello. all they said. I think they released a statement saying like we're not him and, we're not associated and we with never him. we never like knew who these women were. I feel like that's like all the statements said. It's mm-hmm. shocking. Like I feel like that's impersonation. That's uh there's yeah. there are a lot of laws out about that. Like I don't know why those people aren't Yeah. It's true. Really it's upset true. about that. Cause like it it also tarnishes their reputation, even right. though they're not affiliated. Like people exactly. from now on are gonna be like, hear that name and think yeah. of that guy. Yeah, exactly. And it's like exactly. is that what they really want? Do you want yeah. that? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That's true. I agree. I agree. Again, this story, this film, also you have to highlight the journalism behind the mm-hmm. story as well. The people that in um, Norway took on the story believing this victim Mm -hmm. and like and she was like listen like this happened to me let me show you all the receipts like the whatsapp messages the everything that she took out and so and and again these journalists going Mm -hmm. out and like facing the guy themselves and traveling trying to catch this guy they go to israel and like knock on his door exactly Uh getting information like these people went above and beyond to help these victims like it's it's honestly if you again if you haven't watched this film go and watch it like it's yes. worth it it's worth it cuz it's fascinating to see how a psychopath narcissist you know executes a plan and goes about it and is living a life yeah. now that has no consequences yeah that's the best part he that's was, the best part of this, all of this he well, was like mm-hmm. i made all my money with bitcoin <laughs> yes yeah. yeah pure yeah. bullshit yeah i know i know no no yeah. the guys just it's like Ugh. No, no, I think the amazing thing about it is two things. Netflix, I know, is kind of struggling right now. And no, we're not sponsored by Netflix. No. But I will say, I think because the government's not doing anything about catching these people, Netflix is. And yeah. like, is it? Mm. I, don't I think so. feel like, but but now at least in the United States, like we're all hearing about this. Like that guy is going to have a hard time scamming someone again. Like mm. I feel like everyone's going to know what his face looks like. It doesn't matter. I don't think so, to be well, honest. I don't know. Unfortunately. I, I feel like at least they're letting the, the victims tell their side of the story. Right. I think that's the only good and part. The good part yeah. to these yeah. stories is that, yeah, be cautious about who you're dating on these online profiles. Like be mm-hmm. cautious. Mm-hmm. And um, these are stories worth hearing about Mm -hmm. worth knowing about knowing about Mm -hmm. yeah so that that is the bright side of netflix sharing that and like the journalists it's i find it also fascinating that all three of the journalists we're talking about in today's episode are all female yeah and they all were telling stories that no one else wanted to like listen to and the investigative journalism like Mm -hmm. discovered all of these things so i think that's like you know the one silver lining exactly about good journalism because you can also get caught up in some other things mm-hmm. instead of doing what you truly went in there to do yeah you know totally. exactly but exactly no that is very good so this leads us to another netflix sh- uh, film um again this one's this one's a bit creepy this one's a bit creepy guy I, um Eight this one is the newest one. Yeah, this one is the creepiest one we <laughs> we just recently saw this this past week and um have any of you guys watched our father it is literally, I, I, when I tried to describe this film to these guys, I was like, I can't even describe it. You just have to watch it <laughs> because n- now you really think to yourself, how did this happen in real life? In the modern day that we're living in today, how in the world did this happen? And no one mm-hmm. caught up with it. Mm-hmm. Please explain to me, guys, your honest thoughts about this film. Oh, this is this is a very tough one. Mm-hmm. Because I think this guy thought he will never be caught up, you know, like but he thought this will never like because he committed these crimes before DNA before DNA like, tests were accessible to everybody. Or like so simple, like he didn't think 
technology was going to be that advanced or that fast or like that accessible to everybody. Yeah. yeah. This we're talking about Dr. Donald Klein from Indianapolis, Indiana, the uh-huh. physician that he uh, that performed um, IVF to innocent women that wanted to start a family. Mm-hmm. And um, the, I mean, honestly, his actions. Um, really truly violate the professionalism of a board certified physician a doctor um, mm-hmm. familyhood mm-hmm. the care and of the mind and body of women and overall the children the vulnerable children that were brought into this now adults uh, born from this act in complete I, I just in disbelief in disgust and just I, their, their whole identity their mm-hmm. whole life is a big question mark now. I mean, this guy, like, first of all, he's not even um, uh, cap- uh, like capable of being a donor himself. Like, he has an autoimmune yes. disease. And, like, people with diseases right. in a very, like, intense medical history are not ones to be donating sperm. Like, They're not you considered to, you qualified. You have to be, like, an A-list yeah. kind of yeah. person right. to be donating sperm. You have to have a good family history. Um and not have like I mean they even check like color blindness like you do you have color blindness mm-hmm. in your family like all those things that's need to be how checked specific. out yeah. yeah it is very specific very detailed yeah. and so he he completely lied to these innocent women and like these women were like I was raped and I didn't even know it like mm-hmm. that's li- that's insane guys that's mm-hmm. insane so like can crazy. you imagine walking around a town and you look around and you probably related to like half of the grocery store and they don't even know it like. Yeah. Going around school, you're related to half of the school. Going, you guys, like, ha- I don't know if you if you said it, but I think people are getting are getting the the impl- I don't know if you mentioned to the listener that like he was using his his sperm yeah. his sperm. Yes. It sounds so weird to say no, that no, on no. A, I think, on a podcast. No, yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, doesn't matter. <laughs> the worst. Uh, I think the craziest thing, for example, for him is I bear, I'm pretty sure. If he would have asked those women, like, because, I don't know, probably 85%, I don't know how many would be the percentage, but if he would have asked the girl, hey, would you mind using my sperm? And probably, they would have said, probably 40% would have said yes, because they were desperate to have a kid. And at least mm-hmm. they would have known, even though it's still very but fucked like up that he did it with that many people. But, like, the choice should have been there. It should have been theirs. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. But I think the craziest thing is he did it. I think he wanted to create his own mini colony, how you say. He is cold. I yes. think he's uh, uh, the most narcissistic person I've ever, almost ever encountered. Because I do feel like he just wanted, yeah, to like create his own civilization of people that yes. all came from him. Yeah. It's, it's a very egotistical, creepy, creepy thing. Yeah. And I think all of the women that he did this to were so violated but i think what's even creepier about him is like i'm sure he could in his mind argue to himself like i'm helping these women because they can't have children yes but that still doesn't i don't know how he explained himself the other women who had sperm samples from their actual husbands Husbands. and he still didn't use it he threw theirs out (laughs) and used his own there is no argument even the other argument is not a valid one but like that one is that one especially gets to me yeah. because like he had he can't say oh they don't have anyone like yeah. he had it he had it in his hand and he threw it away threw it and away. that's how full of himself he was that mm-hmm. he like oh mm-hmm. i mean he's the perf- the perfect example how people can twist the bible and how people can twist the God's war and all so of these creepy. things yeah. because people misunderstand what they read. Mm-hmm. So then they think they... Or they take it literal. Or they take it literal. Oh, not only that, it's kind of like making the Bible of God of, of religion in general the problem and the way for them to be like, I'm doing the right thing. Of course. You mm-hmm. know? Of course. So it, it's insane. That was the creepy part when he would have the like the Bible verses all over his practice. That's mm-hmm. so creepy. That's, that was and like, like so if you don't creepy. know what yeah. he's up to, you're just like, oh, like what a godly dude. Like mm-hmm. you're not like, I don't think you would. It, you might be it? like, okay, he's a little, he's a little passionate he's about a man it, of faith. Yeah. right? But like, it's only when you know when what he's up to truth. that you're like, this is like a how horror dare. movie. Yeah. Like how dare? And I think it's offending to people who 
who do have spiritual beliefs because mm-hmm. it yes. makes yes it makes us look so bad like because other people are like oh that's what they think too it just gives it a bad name mm-hmm. when people take their the, the, when they take stuff in Christianity or the Bible or whatever and they twist it into their own sick yeah, disgusting yeah. thing yeah. I think mm-hmm. that really makes me angry and I think that's what made Jacoby is that her Jacoba name? Jacoba uh, so angry too, and I really liked it that the show at least spotlit the fact that she was a believer, but she thought exactly opposite him. Exactly. Uh-huh. Because I think they could have just focused the show on like he was a Christian, and this is what he believed. Uh, right? And, they could have left it like that, and yeah. and it had this like really negative feeling. I feel like they showed like both. How you can read the same scripture and interpret it two different Very ways. Very differently. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. Yeah, that was one thing. That, that was, was, yeah, that was good. I yeah, mean, that was he is the perfect example how you can damage two industries at once religion and the and fertility. fertility. Yeah. Yep. Because right now, yep. everybody's going to start wondering like, did my doctor mm. did this to me? Yes. Did my doctor, yes. you know, and like. And unfortunately, he's not the only physician. He's not the only uh-uh, one. It was like not. 94 cases or something like that yeah. mm-hmm. of doctors yeah. that have done, done this. That. So yeah. it's like. How are you going to believe these doctors? Absolutely. And this is what is even more fucked up because already the medical system here in the U.S. is so bad. Right. It's so expensive, so bad. You don't get quality things. Mm -mm. It's just a business for you to keep you sick forever. It's corrupt. It's corrupt. And now you find all of this and the guy is free to keep doing it. Yeah, no, I, I he's he's free. He's well, free. Is he retired life. or is he still practicing? I, I, I think he says somewhere that he's still practicing his community. Oh, dear. oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I don't know how anyone in that community would even go to see he him. He has supporters. There is supporters out of the people who were the owns that he inseminated. He, they support him. He has supporters. Yeah, that's insane. That's that's, that's, that's the that's the really truly the the astonishing part of all this that I he still has yeah. people. That have his back no matter what. Even though they did it to him, like he did it to them. He did to them. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy. The other thing that I was reading is the two of the kids are suing Netflix for revealing their secret. Oh yes, I saw that. Like hmm. for Netflix showing off this film. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So they are right. suing Netflix because now the secret is out that they are. They're not. Yeah. That they are not their they're, they're parents. Product of, uh, yeah. Of that, yeah. Mm. That they are not mad to him. They are mad to Netflix. Netflix are sharing that. That's. Oh. Interesting. It's, it's like how? No, like how? you should be mad to him. Yeah. 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 Like again, twisted as well. Like yes. hello. Like these stories again are important for the community to know because hey, it it, it can affect anybody. Where you, when you least where you least expect it, it could happen to anybody. True, quite honestly, the, and anybody. things like that unfortunately have to come to light so that people are aware and educated of these things. Because right. if you keep it again a secret to yourself in the dark. They're they're gonna be more victims. More like, victims. Exactly. I mean, that you was the heart wrenching part when uh, Jacoba said, "I have to live every day knowing that someone that I'm gonna have to reach out to someone and ruin their life." Yeah. Ruin their life. I was like, "Oh my yeah. god!" I was yeah. like, "Don't call me." No, I was kidding. <laughs> I never lived there, but. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yes, um, yes, exactly. I shouldn't laugh. It's not funny. No. Um, I think the other thing interesting not interesting thing about it the disgusting part and also goes back to his narcissism i feel like he also did this to improve his professional career also like because he was he was known in the entire state of indiana and probably even on that side of the country as being like one of the most successful like ibf doctors of all time Mm -hmm. exactly and so i feel like he like he knew that his sperm was a winner and he was like, okay, if I know I can just make all these women pregnant successfully, yeah, like everyone's going to be like, oh, he's the god of mm-hmm. uh, in yes. vitro or whatever. Exactly. I mean, I think that's, again, one of the things why he wasn't also convicted or anything. He paid, lobby, one of the, it's the state. Oh, yes. Because yeah. he had the money to do so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because yes, I was yes. like, you're telling me a female judge is okay with this. I think that's the part that really pissed me off. I was like, whose side are you on, girl? Mm-hmm. Like, it's you must have been exactly. paid a shit ton it's of money. It's yeah. in America. Because yeah. No it, bribe. Lovey. Yeah. And I just, I can't, to me, it's common sense that this is an assault. Mm-hmm. That this is, and even if you can make your tiny brain think that it's not, it's still taking away someone's choice. And I thought that was Mm -hmm. against the law. So Mm -hmm. that part confuses me because 
like nowhere did these women give consent consent i think that's what i'm trying to say like that is against the law so i don't know why he didn't at least get charged for that right Mm -hmm. right um but like i think the gross thing is is like it totally was a sexual assault because he's literally in the closet yeah. Jacking off, yes. thinking about you. He has to be thinking about you and the fact that he's making another child come into this world, I which think- gets his rocks off, and then he comes and sticks it inside of you. Yeah. How is yes. that not rape? You right. know what is the crazy thing? I don't think he's thinking of the woman. I think he's getting off by the fact that he's going to make another kid. Aww. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, I and can't. that's the I craziest can't. shit that's, ever. It's wild, guys. It's mm. wild. Yeah. I mean, one of the craziest thing, and this is what Ashley brought up to when we were watching the film, and this is what is the most disgusting out of all of it, the thing. So, oh, like, yeah. how can well, it even I be I already grosser? know what you're going to say. So, one of the <sighs> moms that was there was one of people that actually know him. Yeah. One of the dog. I think she was also a doctor. She's a doctor, yes. I know and what he's he did that to her. Yes. So, she had... And she worked for him. Uh-huh. So, she had his kid. Twins. Twin girls. And... He also did the same thing to, to the, the daughter. To the daughter. So he impregnated his daughter. I don't think they say that in the movie. They didn't. But, but that's I, the first thing I thought of. But I think they didn't say it just to don't bring so much more pain to this poor family. But like that means like his granddaughter is it's his, his daughter. daughter. Yep. Yep. How? That's the incest. How, yeah, it's How yes. is that not against the law? Right. 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 Exactly. I thought incest was against the I law. Maybe yes. I need to look at my laws, but like. <laughs> but to me, it's like, how can you be that fucked up in the head uh, to do that? That's that's a serious case of mental illness no, that you can't is. even. There is no, again, there is no terminology to to even describe that. That's, describe that disgustingness. Describe that and, like. Uh, it, it's just. Guys, I guess the shivers. No, no. And honestly, like, I didn't even think about the other part of it. Like that, the, what she brought up mm-hmm. in the show was like, how would you feel if your dad was performing yeah. on your pr- private yeah. parts? Yeah. Like exactly. yes. seeing your yeah yeah private area. I would never want that ever to happen in my life. Mm-mm. And Mm-mm. unfortunately, <sighs> in 2018, the victims were only able to contrib- contribute to Indiana's fertility fraud law but there's nothing uh there's not a federal law no. that uh, makes these um actions um stop from happening um, illegal so i no, i honestly feel they should be brought all the way to the supreme court like it, oh, it's it has to I, I for all 50 states i i this is serious like this is very serious and the mm-hmm. and to think that there's not just this case but multiple other cases to victims that have done have unfortunately been um in this situation it's insane it's literally insane and it's like hard to believe that that's even real well and anyone who's like oh well they were desperate for a baby and they should be happy they had a baby no bullshit bullshit because it's not like they were like they weren't getting uh sperm donors because they were they were so that's an invalid argument and if you think that then stop listening to our podcast (laughs) no (laughs) the the other thing period is uh, dang it i forgot <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry did you do this I, I, I got you upset sorry yeah <laughs> it's a lot of emotions here guys because it's that crazy no it's it literally is that crazy. it is insane how many kids this is 94 as of today as but i feel like that's not very accurate more. and i don't feel it's like gonna that's gonna go stay 94 i mean after the sh- after the show releasing i'm sure a lot of people in that community are gonna end up doing the 23 and me Ugh. test can you imagine? It's insane. Having 94 oh. siblings? Oh. 94 I, siblings. I 94. wonder also, oh. like, this is something I was asking Gus when we watched it. Like, is this an example? <laughs> and I don't think there's any right or wrong answer. Like, but is is there such a thing as ignorance is bliss? Like, I don't know. There was a small part of me the whole time that's like, I don't know if I'd want to know this. Like, does it bring you happiness to know this? I mean... I feel like it kind of just like ruined a lot of people's lives. And like, I know that it's like necessary probably, but I just, I feel, I think I feel almost the worst for the dads because they didn't really get talked about a lot and none of them were really interviewed because they probably didn't want to be. But I think that like, they felt like, I don't don't know. Yes, I totally agree Mm -hmm. with that. And I don't know how they are no more angry. 
you know, I'm sure because, they are. Yeah, but at the same time, I mean, I don't, I don't want to speak for them. And maybe they didn't show it. Maybe they did this. But to me, if I found out that, I would have killed them. Yes, I would have want. Them. I would have want to do something. No, and I, I know it's not correct. I know it's not. But, it's not. Know, it's not right but, to say but that. But at all. the same time, I feel like I should be fighting right. for my wife, for my people, mm-hmm. for my daughters. For my children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because how can this guy still live freely and keep doing what he's doing? Mm-hmm. Because that's what that's what the thing that that will concern yeah. me. Yeah, that's, just, that's yeah. concerning that this guy it's is still free, free and mm-hmm. about. Mm-hmm. And that's I think that's another very frustrating uh, for for many, uh, just for many Americans in this country, uh, the frustration of w- what are the consequences? Like what what what's the what's the what do they have because to pay? Because when they don't get it, then they know they can just get other people are like, oh, I can get away with it too, and it's just. It's sick and disgusting, it's, and yeah. it's. I mean, like they didn't, they didn't tell us at the end, like if his wife left him. Does anyone know? Because like I, I know, know he kept being like, if this comes out, my wife but is gonna well, leave I me. No, I wonder if she did because like I, I would know. not stay with that guy if I was his wife. I don't know. Oh, hell I don't know. That's a very good question. I just, and yeah, like his kids, what is his relation like? His his kids that he his kids. accepted as his yes, kids. Yes, uh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, how do they feel like? I would n- disown my father forever for, mm-hmm. for the rest of my life. Nah, it's insane. It is crazy. Insane. That, that is, is crazy. crazy. Nah. So that it this truly this episode truly wraps up the meaning of mm-hmm. mentally ill, narcissist, psychopath people. Be that, careful who you trust. <laughs> yeah, that live in our yes. communities. Yep. You might bump into one. You never know. Stay safe out there, guys. Especially <laughs> on Tinder. Especially at the doctors. Anywhere, 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 anywhere. Yeah, that, that's, that's the sad part. That I feel like instead of we evolving as a civilization and becoming like freely and being able to do things that we love, we have to be afraid of things happening in every single yeah. field. In every mm-hmm. single field. Too. It's mm-hmm. like that is so sad. And instead of becoming this like an evolved more mature more intelligent no. more you know more sophisticated if we want to call it but it i feel like it's getting worse and worse and worse yep. yeah yeah or it's just becoming more public yeah that's the other I thing i mean i i want to end it on a slightly inspirational hopefully note yeah. but i i feel like you have to admire again these women's resilience like yes. The, yes. the ones in the Tinder Swindler and then also the ones in this in yes, our father because like yeah. Yeah. they are not giving up and For despite sure. the fact that there's these dumb laws that like are not allowing them to make sure that these criminals like don't get away with what they're doing they're not giving up and like they're yeah. also sharing their story so that hopefully other people can learn from it and not fall for the same exactly. things exactly. and that's a good thing and that's yes. a good thing right. yes. that's a good thing right. also empowering all those people to also talk about their experiences and then that doesn't happen more exactly. because yeah, that's kind exactly. of what happened a lot of people have these problems that, that they are afraid to they're, say because you, fe- of, you feel so. dumb yeah. Yeah. rightfully so yeah. they are ashamed of it and they yeah. don't want to talk about it right. I that's you can understand that yes. it's, yeah. it's sad it's you know, sad. we all have it's done sad. something that we are like oh, how I was so stupid and fall for that absolutely mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. it's important for all these people to know that and being able to say absolutely and yeah. also absolutely. I think it's important that like to remember that yes it's good to know who your biological parents are but that doesn't mean that they have to be your real parents that like mm-hmm. you can have parents that are not biologically yours that love you and are oh, going to love you sure. unconditionally. For sure. And mm-hmm. at the end of the day, that is a More real valuable. love. Yeah. Absolutely. Like, exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Unconditional love. I yeah. love that. Yep. I love that for us. Mm-hmm. Thank you again for watching everyone and listening. Please make sure to follow us on all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Spotify, Amazon, Google, YouTube. Subscribe, you please. You name it subscribe (laughs) we're really fun i promise you (laughs) so until the next episode guys take care and we'll see you soon thanks for listening guys and gals this was nobody you know (laughs) literally remember to hit like and subscribe and leave us a comment have a question for the guys or a topic you'd love them to discuss Get in touch. You can find us on all socials at nobody you know underscore podcast. See you next time. <laughs>